Hey, have you ever wondered, or are you wondering, why you suddenly stop losing weight? You've been tracking your food, you've been going to the gym, you've been resistance training, you've been running, you're doing everything correctly, and yet your weight loss has stalled. Well, in this video, in a science-based video, we're going to answer question, or at least one of the main reasons why your weight loss stalls. So if you're interested in that topic, then stick around. As I said, you've been losing weight consistently. You know you've been tracking your food appropriately, and for a while you were losing weight many pounds at a time. You suddenly notice the scale isn't dropping as much weight one week, although your habits have been the exact same. Then the next week, your weight loss completely stalls, and here you are, three weeks of no weight loss, and you are frustrated. What the hell is happening? Why? I've been perfect. Why? Okay, here's why. You've stopped moving. Now, I realize you may be looking at the screen thinking, what are you talking about, Nick? All of my habits are the same. I go to the gym even more now. Actually, you're right. And you're wrong. Your metabolism is made up of a few different components. One, your basal metabolic rate, your metabolism for just existing in simple terms. Two, the energy it takes to digest food, and three, your physical activity. Now, it's actually misleading to look at your physical activity as one part of the group, because physical activity is broken down into two other subsections, known as exercise activity and non-exercise activity. And while you're right that your exercise activity has stayed stable in terms of the amount of time and effort you've put into the gym, your non-exercise activity has betrayed you. Non-exercise activity encompasses things like fidgeting and other unconscious movement. So why does it decrease? Well, first off, and likely something you haven't considered, is your weight loss by simple physics has cost you some of your metabolism. Let me explain. Before you lost weight, you were at a particular weight. Let's say 200 pounds as an example. Then you lost 30 pounds. Good for you. But with that loss in weight, your body now needs less energy to propel you when moving because you weigh less. Another way of thinking about it is if you were to pick up a 50 pound box and then lift a 25 pound box. The latter will be easier and that's what your body is doing anytime you move your feet, pre and post weight loss. Less energy is necessary to move you from point A to point B. This actually affects your exercise activity too. You've stabbed your metabolism in the back with your own weight loss. Another reason is due to the body's ability to modulate spontaneous or unplanned movement. Like that fidgeting you typically do with your hands or feet. This may not seem like much, but it does add up over time. The body has many mechanisms by which to conserve energy when it isn't being properly fed. And this is one of the simplest ones to change. It's a pretty brilliant thing to rid itself, since it is there for that specific reason, like an expendable employee. Interestingly, there may be other mechanisms as well, but they haven't been fully elucidated with enough research. So we'll leave it here, especially since the two reasons we pointed out are likely the chief culprits. But then, what can you do to combat this metabolic slowdown? Well. There are a few different strategies, some backed by more published studies than others, but the two main ways come down to nutrition. One, you can drop your energy intake, eating less calories. Granted, your body will continue to adapt, but this is a practice that can be continued so long as you can bear it and you feel all right. Secondly, you can eat more. Say what? Now, we aren't saying eating more will lead to weight loss. That is physically impossible. But indirectly, 
it may have an impact on some of your hormonal and psychological factors holding you back. There are some out there that believe that refeeding, a state of eating up to maintenance calories with a focus on carbohydrates for a few days, helps the body move back to homeostasis hormonally. This will not be long enough for you to regain much, if any, weight, but it will allow your body to recover in other ways. That's it for this video. I've left certain things out, but rest assured the fundamentals of this topic have been covered here. Specifics in the future. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of why your weight loss efforts suddenly stall or they sputter out. And hopefully I was able to introduce a few strategies. Well, one of them is, is pretty obvious. Uh, just dropping your calories more is evidently going to lead to more weight loss. But then uh, the second strategy of refeeding is something that a lot of people have talked about in, in the past, at least in the nutrition and fitness community. Uh, and there are probably other methods out there as well, but when it comes down to it, uh, a caloric deficit is what's going to lead to weight loss. So however you end up achieving that in the long run, that's what's important. So whatever you decide, have at it. Hopefully I'll have some videos in the future that'll cover exactly how, how to specifically go about some of these other strategies and maybe I'll be able to introduce a few of the other strategies as well. That said, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I will hopefully have the pleasure of seeing you in the next one. Have a good one. See you.